Gustafson, and I live about probably less than half a mile to where the rock crusher is trying to set up. Um, Fourteen years ago, I fought a rock crusher, and at the last meeting, I went into all the detail, and I'm not going to do that again today, but it just seems like in 14 years, nothing has changed with TCEQ as far as the application and how they are very negligent about the whole setup. And Becky Dixon helped me a lot with 14 years ago with that rock crusher uh, when she was working for Senator Sibley. Um, somehow we have got to make you understand how this is affecting us. It is extremely emotional, uh, besides ruining the habitat and everyone's health and their annoyance, their negligent and everything that they do. But it just seems like nothing has changed in 14 years with TCEQ. Uh, something else that I was thinking about, there's, there's a lot of gas pipelines in that area. Um, there's a VOR tower that's real important to DFW. I don't know how that, the emissions or the blasting would affect the VOR tower. That's about a fourth of a mile from where I am. Um, but even the, the gas pipeline people were a good neighbor in that they stopped doing their surveys and everything uh, when they found out about these two endangered birds. And Mr. Davis is a complete you know what about this whole, I mean, he's not even trying to get along with us. He's threatened, sounded like a threat to Mr. Summers um, about his driveway. And you ought to, well, it's too late now because I guess we won't have any other meetings, but I wish you could have been there to see him. Um, it's, re it's really an emotional, heartbreaking event. It's not just, I, I just can't even. I'm getting a picture. <laughs> 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 <laughs>